Many of you know that I throw playing cards further than anyone in the world. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'd like to demonstrate my unusual talents, but unfortunately this studio is much too small. <laughs> However, just a few sample throws to get you excited. You never know when you're going to be attacked by a camera, but if you are, you can kill one. <laughs> ah, I see the orchestra is heckling. <laughs> you people in the cheaper seats will have to wait. <laughs> well, maybe a couple dead ahead. Whoops, sorry. If these cards hit you, you'll want to sue me. Keep in mind, I'm not a wealthy man. <laughs> Whoops. And again. But I know what you're saying. You're saying, sure, this man can throw cards at incredible speed and an incredible distance. But can he throw out a card and make it return to his hand a simulacrum of the Australian boomerang? <laughs> <laughs> and apparently I'm the only one who thinks that this is an impressive feat. <laughs> but I know what you're saying. Sure, this man can throw cards and have them return to his hand a simulacrum of the Australian boomerang. But can he, upon the card's return, cut it neatly in half with a pair of giant scissors? Yes, he can. <laughs> and if anyone here has a pair of giant scissors, I'll be happy to apply. Does anyone here have a pair of giant scissors? I do. <laughs> and I might add, I feel so much better now. <laughs> Here's the way this works. I throw the card out, it comes back. I, I should point out, if you're attacked by giant scissors, you may throw a card at the scissors, disabling them completely. <laughs> but for those of you who prefer skill to verbiage, I will in fact throw a card in the air and upon its return, cut it neatly in half with a pair of giant scissors. Yes. <laughs> But I know what you're saying. Sure, he can go sun scabbard for the rest of his act, but can he defend himself against animals? <laughs> if you're attacked by an animal band or a band of animals, fire! Yes! Yes! Move, you devils! Move! <laughs> dance! Dance! dance. <laughs> The toughest zebra I've ever seen. <laughs> Nothing left to do but go for the duck. <laughs> this is something I do early in my show because it dissuades would-be hecklers. Hi, I'm a would-be heckler. <laughs> what would you like me to do, sir? Well, I thought after showing that I can do such damage to uh, plastic, we would try an even more basic material newspaper. Uh, do you have one? It just so happens we have here, in exactly the same place as at rehearsal, <laughs> a piece of newspaper. Terrific. Unprepared. <laughs> Unprepared. And if you knew how surprising it was to find it in the right place. Anyway, would you... I do. <laughs> you do, yes. Right. What I'm going to do is to attempt to throw a card through this sheet of ordinary newspaper. Doing the crossword at the same time? You bet. Of course. <laughs> and the considerable damage on the other side. Cast your eyes for this wonderful display of things. Oh, come on. Things which I might add come from this country, not my own. <laughs> I'm going to put the newspaper in front of those things. I will try to throw a card through that thing into those things like this. Watch me work. Yes! Play the card? I do this all the time. <laughs> You're getting carried away. At rehearsal, you only got to cut this long. Yeah. Now, we have people, I know you'll find it, as a, as a visitor, you'll find this hard to believe. We have people out there who say, yes, we know he can do those things, 
but the paper's a bit much. So, for the benefit of our cameras, you mind doing that paper bit again with two pieces of paper? To your show. Okay. All right. I went out and bought two pieces of paper, and this is Debbie. Mickey, by no the way. expense for my Debbie, act, Ricky, <laughs> Ricky, <laughs> Debbie. Now, what you do is you've got to get them through both. For both papers. Yeah. Oh, so you can actually see the card come through. You know? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Proves it works. Sure. You ready? Yep. I am. Mm. Yep. Right through there as well. That's amazing, isn't it? Thank you, Debbie. Phenomenal. I know the next line. I mean, what's in the act? I know he can go through two pieces of paper. <laughs> yes. But can he go through paper in its original form? Wood. Wood? Yeah. Sure. Would you happen to have a pencil handy? Um, there are a couple. Well, let's use one of those. Fine. Hold it up. It's a pencil. Hey, gentlemen. Would you hold it at the Wood. bottom? Pardon? Would you hold it at the bottom? Yeah. And extend your arm well away from your body? <laughs> For this your is... own sake? Of course. <laughs> I shall do that. Although... To be honest, I don't mind finishing the series. <laughs> he wants the job. <laughs> don't say all. Just warming up. <laughs> you worried it. Oh, you bent it. Yeah. You yes. bent it. Hey, that's amazing. Oh. Fantastic. Oh. Well, I have something truly something truly more formidable in mind, I think I will have to ask you to clear the area. Clear it? I shall go completely. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I know what you're saying. Sure, this man can break a pencil with an ordinary playing card, but can he prove that cards existed as weapons in ancient Greece and or Rome? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! The invention of the naval. <laughs> yes! Yeah! Yeah! Yes! <laughs> but I know what you're saying. Sure, this man can defend himself against statuary, but can he defend himself against fruits? <laughs> I assure you I can and indeed often living in Hollywood I have <laughs> this evening I will not waste your time with kumquats prayers or prunes no 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 <laughs> ladies and gentlemen cast your eyes on the most prodigious the most important of household fruits you guessed it the watermelon <laughs> what I will try to do is to penetrate the juicy rich red interior of said melon with a few perfectly placed tosses from the ordinary pack of cards Now uh, watch it. <laughs> yes. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. 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 No. Yes. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. <laughs> These last two shots have landed in such a way that one playing card has actually penetrated the other playing card. A feat so impressive, I am forced to mention it myself. <laughs> no doubt the last time you saw this done was when Errol Flynn did it in Robin Hood. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, understand, once I get into stroke like this, I can continue to throw cards in the same slit in the watermelon all night long, but I am forced to stop because it's too much fun for the melon. <laughs> but I know what you're saying. You're saying, sure, this man can penetrate the juicy, rich red interior of said melon, but can he throw a card into the even thicker pachydermatous outer melon layer? Can he? Yes! No! <laughs> Who the hell could do that? <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, encouraged by your approbation, I will attempt, he word, attempt to penetrate the even thicker pachydermatous outer melon layer. Watch. 
This scares the melon. <laughs> this wounds the melon. <laughs> yes! This kills the melon. I thank you. And good night. <laughs>